Good afternoon. Welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina, home of Carolina Aircraft. I'm George Johnson, the Bonanza Man, and today we're here to look at a beautiful Baron B-55, November 8331 November. Let's take a look. November 8331 November has engines with only 760 hours since major overhaul and the props also have only 760 hours since overhaul. The airplane is equipped with alcohol props and alcohol windshield. November 8331 November has the coal mill winglets. These add stability and they make the airplane look sexy. The paint on 8331 November is in excellent condition. You don't see a lot of paint chips or anything like that, although the paint's not brand new. The windows and windshield were replaced in 2008. In fact, the side windows and windshield are 3 8 inch uh, windows, extra thick. The overall condition of the interior on this little B-55 is in good condition. The seats back here are fabric, but they're in, in very good condition, as are the side walls and the headliner. The windows look almost brand new. I think these were new in 2008. The airplane is also equipped with uh, an intercom system, and it has a music jack because this has the GDL69A XM uh, radio and XM music system. The windows are back here are openable on the ground, so you can uh, get a little extra air. But this airplane is also equipped with air conditioning, which is very unusual for a little B-55. And this particular air conditioning system uses the new 134 refrigerant, and it will freeze you out of here, the owner says. The Baron B-55 has plenty of room. I've got the front seats all the way back, and I'm almost six feet tall, and I've got plenty of leg room. I've got plenty of head room. And with these armrests, it's almost like sitting in an easy chair in my living room. In addition, this airplane has six seats, and the useful load is 1,561 pounds. So even with full fuel, you can still put almost 750 pounds in the cabin. This has reclining seat adjusters, too, so that your passengers can even take a nap on a long trip. Good night. 8331 November has a fantastic instrument panel with a new Garmin G500 glass panel and a full Garmin avionics stack. Let's take a look at the avionics starting on the pilot side. Here's your standby airspeed indicator. Your primary airspeed indicator is on your Garmin G500 EFIS glass panel. This is where your airspeed is, and this will also read out true airspeed in knots and it has your wind data when we're in the air flying and shows your GPS as steering with the autopilot. It also has your outside air temperature. This is your artificial horizon and then to the right of that is your altimeter uh, and your, your altitude select and your barometer. Below this is your vertical speed indicator and this is your HSI that houses your number one and number two uh, nav uh, and GPS. On the right side of the panel we can put several different pages over here. We currently have this in the chart view page. Uh, this equipment has the, uh, uh, the, the map display, uh, it has chart view, it has XM satellite weather, it has uh, TAWS which will talk to you. I think this is called the TAWS B system and uh, it has your traffic page and your terrain page. And we're on the ground so the terrain shows red. On the second row, we have a standby altimeter. And then we have a GPSS steering module. This is a standby attitude indicator and a two-minute turn coordinator. Below this is your ELT, and this has the 406 series ELT. And then it has the STEC 50 autopilot with altitude hold, and this autopilot is coupled to your Garmin G500 uh, glass panel and also has GPSS steering. 
This is your indicator for your number two nav, which is a Garmin 430W with watts, and then we have a WX1000 storm scope. In the center of the panel, we have your engine gauges and your fuel flow. Here is your graphic engine monitor. This, this has a JPI EDM760 graphic engine monitor that monitors all six cylinders on both engines, also monitors your battery and that sort of thing, and it monitors your fuel flow. Now let's take a look at your avionics stack. At the top, we have a Garmin GMA347 audio panel with your three light marker beacons and your intercom system. This airplane is equipped with the GDL69A XM weather and also XM music system. Below this is your number one navcom and GPS. This is a Garmin GNS530W with WAS, and this has several different pages. We have it in the HSI nav page right now. The next page is the regular nav page. And then we have your traffic page. This has the Garmin uh, 330 transponder with TIS traffic. And then we have your XM weather page. And then we have your terrain page, which will show red uh, because we're on the ground. And then we have your uh, information page and your satellite page. Below this is your number two NAVCOM GPS. This is a Garmin GNS430W, also with WAS. And this has very similar pages to your Garmin 530W. Information page, NAV page, traffic page, terrain page, and then we have your information pages on the 430. Below the number two NAVCOM GPS is a Garmin GTX 330 Mode S transponder with Garmin traffic. Below your transponder is a uh, Sperry color radar, and the radar is mounted in the nose. I'll put it in the test mode and uh, show it's a color radar, very good radar. This is the control for the Arctic Air air conditioner system. This is a great little air conditioner system that's controlled right here, really keeps the cabin cool, and it uses the new air conditioning refrigerant 134A. Now let's take a look at the pilot's control wheel. In the front we have a push to talk button. On the top we have an autopilot disconnect button. In the center we have a, a MB800 control wheel clock and this doubles as an approach timer. On the right side of the control yoke we have a map light and this puts a light in your lap, in your outside air temperature gauge, and in your compass. In 2008 the airplane got new windows. Look how thick these side windows and vent windows are. You have a vent window on both the co-pilot and the pilot side. And these are 3 8 inch thick windows and windshield. The windows look brand new, they're very clear, unlike most airplanes of this vintage. If you want a great buy in a beautiful little B-55 Baron that is well equipped, you need to visit Carolina Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina and take a look at November 8331 November. This airplane has the Garmin G500 glass panel. It has a full Garmin avionics stack including uh, XM satellite weather and XM satellite radio. It has a Sperry color radar. It has a Garmin 530W with WAS, a Garmin 430W with WAS. It has traffic, terrain, chart view, and a lot of other fantastic equipment, including an STEC 50 autopilot. The whole avionics panel has been upgraded. The airplane is equipped with coal mill winglets, it has a great useful load. The engines are, only have about 760 hours since overhaul, and it has three blade props. Come visit us in Greensboro, North Carolina, or give us a call at 336-665-0300. And be sure to visit carolinaaircraft.com to see this beautiful Baron B-55 
and all of our other nice bonanzas and barons. Have a great day.